What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So you might be wondering why the Zonda Pagani Cinque Roadster was removed from the showdown. That's a mouthful saying the name of that car. Holy moly, could they have made the name any longer? I think not. But if you're wondering why that is no longer in the showdown, well, unfortunately, there was a problem with that car. And when you were using it, it would reset all of your trophies back to zero. So they went ahead and they removed that. So currently we got the Copa Camaro, the Vorsteiner 570VX, the D8 GTO, some other version of the Copa Camaro, I guess, another 570VX, and the D8 GTO bare naked. So currently the Copa Camaro is going to be the fastest car out of all of those. So if you happen to have that one, it's a really cool car. I mean, it runs something like a 7.217, 7.216. The world record time is somewhere right around there, and it's just an all-around fun car to have, fun car to drive. But yeah, that's the one I would choose, guys. The Zonda may be gone, but the Copo is there. If you don't have the Copo and you got one of the other cars, just use that, right? I never upgrade cars just to run showdowns. I just go ahead and use the highest upgraded car that I currently already have, and I leave it at that because you know what? There's no point, in my opinion, no point upgrading car just to run showdown when more than likely I'm never going to drive it again after the showdown ends. So bottom line, if you got the game cache and the parts and you like the car, sure, go ahead and upgrade it. But if you don't, you don't have to upgrade that thing. All right. So YouTube has recently introduced the thanks button, which can be found right under the video. Us smaller YouTube channels like this one don't make huge amounts of money unless you're getting like 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 views on your videos. We don't make loads of money, but it sure is expensive to get all the nice equipment and stuff we need to put out quality content for you guys. So that thanks button is a great way to help support the channel and keep it running. So maybe check that out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share these videos with your friends. Watch the entire video if you have a chance. All right. Uh, hit that little bell, set those notifications to all, that way you don't miss any good uploads, and leave some comments if you want, all right? All those things can really help a YouTube channel out, because YouTube pays attention to all those stats. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. We will catch you next time. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.